After shattering Ray Allen's record at MSG, it's now time to bow down as we officially crown Steph Curry as the new King of Threes. As we begin the reign of the new Sultan of Splash, let's turn back the clocks of time and relive some of his unforgettable long bombs this season so far and break it down further to see how he victimized each of his defenders. All right, to kick off the three-point party, we're gonna go with this play against the Atlanta Hawks. You got the chef here, matched up with Cam Reddish, a McDonald's All-American and Mr. Pennsylvania Basketball. But none of that would matter in this play because the chef is gonna cook him real bad. Reddish face guards Curry to make it hard for him to pull the trigger. Curry then gave him a little shimmy to shake him off, and that's all he needed to do a step back splash despite the hand being in his face. Reddish not reaching, trying to move his feet, Curry three. You better hold on to your seats, guys, because in this next play, Curry did dirty to not one, but two elite defenders from the 76ers. This is Matisse Thibault a player that was once hailed as the Nysmith Defensive Player of the Year and an all-defensive second team member. Again, the chef didn't care how much defensive hardware this guy bagged as he crossed him up pretty nasty when he tried to go over the screen. When Drummond showed up, Curry pulled another casual step back to ice the big man and hit nothing but the bottom of the net yet again. The six-game road trip for the Sixers. Ooh. Curry separates. <laughs> And if you think that was nasty, wait till you see this next clip. The poor guy matched up with Steph is Landry Shamit. As he drove hard to the left, the chef pulled the brakes. And this is what happened. And the right fit. My, oh my. Shamit's knees and ankles buckled, Curry had the separation, and you know what's about to drop next. After putting Shaman on skates, let us go a bit deeper in range to see how devastating Steph can be even if he's 40 feet away from the rim. There's only 2.5 seconds left on the clock and if I'm coaching the Hornets, the last thing that I would want is the ball to be in the hands of the greatest shooter alive. Well, they failed to deny him the ball, so they ended up suffering from Steph's long range wrath. I wonder what Oubre felt as he walked back to the bench. As we have witnessed in the previous clips, Curry loves to humiliate great defenders, and this next play ain't no different. Alex Caruso is currently ranked the third best player in the league when it comes to pickpocketing, but in this play, the spotlight belongs to Curry as he puts on a show in front of Caruso's face. When Caruso tries to swipe the ball, Curry showcases his handles with a behind-the-back dribble. You have to admire Caruso's efforts here as he tries his best to stay in front of the chef, but that all changed when Steph flexed his muscles in order to create the space that he wanted, which ended in another step back splash. Shot fake and then puts his head down and attacks. A lot of contact there. Curry for three. Speaking of splash, his fellow splash brother Clay Thompson recently commented about Steph's greatness as he was about to break Ray Allen's record, and here's what he had to say. Steph's greatness didn't happen overnight. This is a lifelong achievement. He deserves all the praise because he truly changed the game of basketball, and the three-point shot is now such a premium in the game. You can thank Steph Curry for that, and I maybe had a little part to deal with that, but Steph is a true innovator with the ball in his hands. He's a marksman like we've never seen before. Aside from Clay, other NBA legends like Vince Carter also paid tribute to the greatest shooter on the planet and talked about his greatness by praising his game. Steph has changed the game of basketball in many, many ways. Your transition defense is a little different now because of what Steph has done over the years. A three-point shot at the three-point line is a mid-range to him. You can easily throw the word around, oh, that was a lucky shot. Well, for some people. All right, let's keep Steph's highlight reel rolling. The bigs are usually the type of player that Steph frequently abuses. And in this next play, the T-Wolves big Nas Reed will face this harsh reality. Curry knows that Reed doesn't have the step to keep in pace with him. After pulling a fake, Curry baited him with another drive, and at this point, Reed just spun around like a top and didn't know where the chef went. Steph then pulled back before launching a well-contested long bomb. In this next clip, just like what we did earlier, the chef puts the sauce on yet again against two defenders. With the shot clock winding down, Curry danced with Herter on the top of the key. 
but unlike the clip versus the Hornets, Trey Young got the memo, so he quickly jumped to help Herder in containing Steph. Set a screen for Steph, let him work on Herder. Like that. But once again, this is a case of a little too late as Steph drilled a step back three against two defenders closing out hard on him. Splash money. Here versus the Pelicans, Curry was able to fend off the initial defender, which happened to be Valacinas. I really have no idea what happened next, but it seems like the chef's spider sense tingled here and recognized that someone was coming as he went for a flyby before knocking down a wide open three. Curry, step back, waits, flyby, three. It appears that Steph has been using the step back lately, and on that note, let's check out the next play where he used this move again, but against the Celtics. So Curry's right here. He keeps his dribble alive and uses the Draymond screen to lose his initial defender. After driving hard left, Curry pulled a two dribble double step back to free himself from the shackles of the much taller and longer Jalen Brown. In five seasons, right now what Golden State's putting up. Curry! Well, aside from the step back, the chef is also known for toying with his defender and using lethal dribble combos. In this next play, Curry is being tightly guarded way up top. His defender is probably thinking that no matter what happens, he's not going to let Curry get off a shot. But Steph crossed him up pretty well, and despite the hand in his face, Steph just added another victim to his highlight reels. Meanwhile, in this other ISO play, Curry is matched with DeAnthony Melton, another solid defender in his own right. Curry baited him with a crossover, but Melton didn't flinch one bit. But when he went up to him, Curry then pulled a behind-the-back crossover combo to put Melton on skates before launching a high arcing three using his quick trigger. Someone helped. Looney had to help there. That Curry step back triple. All right, guys, to cap off this Steph Curry's greatness appreciation video, we got to break down his record-breaking 2,974 three-pointer back at Madison Square Garden. Right from the get-go, you can feel that Curry wants to break the record right away. When Wiggins got a double on the block, he was able to successfully locate Steph on the run, and as you can see here, Curry didn't want to prolong the situation as he tiptoed back beyond the three-point line, gathered his feet, and let it fly. Guarding it from the start, Wiggins, again, here's Curry for the record, it's good! Looking back to that memorable moment, Steph Curry reflected on his thoughts leading up to that magical night at MSG. It was a beautiful ending to this last week, the build up to getting this number, it was a special atmosphere. I knew the garden would deliver just in terms of how iconic this place is. I can't say it enough, I appreciate so much the way the fans embraced the moment with me and let me kind of get lost in it. I could feel it. Once I took the shot on the wing, it just felt good, looked good, it felt like we were at home. It was a special moment for sure that I appreciate and I'll remember for the rest of my life in terms of what it means to me to pass Ray. Him and Reggie were the guys I've looked up to coming into the game, definitely special. After paying homage to the two legendary sharpshooters, the new King of Splash also talked about how he achieved this astonishing feat with such efficiency and longevity. My respect for Reggie and Ray, guys who set the bar for what it meant to be a sharpshooter, and have longevity as well. And for me, I've tried to own that in my journey in terms of range, volume, efficiency, all those things go into it, so I pride myself on shooting a high percentage. I pride myself on allowing that to help us win games, and now I can pride myself on the longevity of getting to that number that Ray set and hopefully pushing it to a number that nobody can reach. We'll see what happens. Steve Kerr, the current title holder for having the highest three-point percentage in history, was also in awe when Steph broke the record, and here's what he had to say. The moment was spectacular. It was an incredible shot. The degree of difficulty was there. The aftermath was more emotional than I expected it to be. Beautiful moment in front of fans that appreciate the game so much. The night was perfect, and it pretty much encapsulates who he is. Anyway, we'll be sure to see a lot more magic from Steph as the season continues, but in the meantime, I want to turn the attention to the Warriors team as a whole and how they're just decimating the league. Click here and watch the video guys because the harsh truth is the Warriors, if they can stay healthy, are definitely winning it all this season. There's no question about it. And that's actually what the video is for. I'll break it down for you all right there. So just click the video and like always, I'll be waiting on the other side.